Today's video, we are going to be ranking self-improvement influencers. A lot of these influencers I personally know. You may know a few of these faces I'm going to show. Okay, starting off with David Goggins. I'm going to have to put him at... What would I rank him? I know a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy around David Goggins. My mom started hating him for no reason. She's saying, like, he didn't even complete SEAL training. But overall, he is a very influential guy. He has convinced many people to get off their asses and start doing hard shit. He has values and stuff. He has value to provide. And he's just, like, solved mental toughness, I feel like. And for that... I think it's an A. He could... There's, like, some parts that could be improved. David Goggins is very... I like him. I would put him at S. Only thing keeping me from putting him there is just that my mom doesn't like him. <laughs> I don't know what her problem is. But I guess David Goggins is A tier. Okay, next one is Hamza Alphamid. I think I'm saying that right. He's, like, Pakistani, right? Anyways, I used to watch a lot of his videos when I first started trying to improve myself. He makes videos about, like, talking to girls, I guess. Like, getting girls. He started being known for talking about a dopamine detox talk around self-improvement and getting rid of incident gratification and starting to do stuff that requires discipline like journaling meditation just working to become a better person and dragging yourself away from this degenerate stuff video games drugs alcohol that's generally what ham says i think he's he's a good influence he's good in the way that he's a like a gateway you know, like a gateway drug. He's like a gateway towards self-improvement. He helps attract people who are on, who are at the lows of life, like addicted to video games. They're just at their lowest point. He helps attract them and bring them to his channel. He's a good, I think he's overall generally a good role model. I'm gonna have to put him at S. There's like nobody I'm gonna be able to put at D. I'm gonna have to start being a bit more harsh on these people. Only the best people are going to S tier. Okay, next one we have is Jordan Peterson. What I know from Jordan Peterson, his main thing is really into philosophy. He's into doing this stuff like reading. Jordan Peterson stresses the importance of being an articulate person, being able to communicate your thoughts and being a very well-spoken and well-read person. I feel like that's overall what Jordan Peterson is about and just living a fulfilling life he's really into just psychology and stuff like that and jordan peterson uh, he doesn't really give out that much advice i feel like just regardless of being articulate i think he's gonna be our first b tier <laughs> okay next one's rough i don't know if you guys are gonna know this guy he's not extremely popular in youtube but he is grown he has grown some an audience in the past he has started to grow an audience he makes videos around just general self-improvement he talks about simplistic videos around self-improvement talking about just little tips like your energy may i think he made one on masculinity he's like a student or something and he's just teaching you the things you wouldn't really consider about self-improvement. Like, self-improvement's a trap. It's mental masturbation, I guess. Just generally off what I've gotten from him. I know a lot of people in my comments are gonna hate me. Okay, next one. One of my favorite guys here is Andrew Huberman. He, he's just known for being on... He has this podcast he calls the Huberman Lab. He's a neuroscientist at, like, Stanford. And he just gives you a rundown. He's goes, he dives very deep into topics such as like dopamine, motivation, and drive. Just he, his podcast, he dives super deep into these topics. He's a neuroscientist and he can give you the views on self-improvement from a kind of science perspective. Just giving you the facts, the stuff. He is, I really enjoy watching his podcast. And he does give some really good information, I feel like. He talks about, like, cold exposure, ice baths, just 
things like getting sunlight in your eyes. I feel like that's what he's been known for. Breathing techniques. So, what would I give Andrew Huberman? I think A tier. Okay, no, I don't know if most of you guys are going to know this guy. This is Charlie from Charisma On Demand. I don't know if you, you've seen Charisma On Demand. But it's just basically a channel that kind of breaks down like celebrities. It breaks down how people use charisma and teaches you strategies to become charismatic. Like if, if you wanted to become good at talking, you wanted to what, basically what charisma is being good at talking, you know, good body language, just having a good voice or something stuff around charisma, which is basically your skill of talking. His videos, I don't really, there's just one thing that he's helped me with. I haven't really seen. Next one is Joe Rogan. I, th I don't think most of you guys are gonna consider him like a self-improvement influencer per se. Joe Rogan, he has his podcast. Everyone knows Joe Rogan. He's like the OG podcaster, very popular podcast. But he does bring people on the show and he gets them to talk about super helpful self-improvement strategies. He brings on people like Andrew Huberman. He brings on people like David Goggins. And he helps them to share their stuff. His podcast is overall pretty good for the people he brings on. But him, he doesn't really do self-improvement stuff. He doesn't talk about it. He talks about like his ice baths. I've seen, I don't know, where would I put Joe? He's a good podcast. Hmm, I think C. The next one is Ryan Holiday. Ryan Holiday, yeah, I, don't, I feel like most of my viewers aren't gonna know these guys. Ryan Holiday, he makes, he's, his channel, he has a YouTube channel called The Daily Stoic, where he gives you, he breaks down these ancient philosophies like Stoicism. He's an expert in Stoicism. He breaks down these philosophies and he helps you to apply them to modern life to help you become a better person, self-improvement, stuff like that. Become the person philosophy wants you to become. And he does the, the heavy lifting. He goes through these books like Marcus Aurelius' Meditations. He gives you actionable steps you can take on them to improve your life. He makes videos on stoicism. The videos are entertaining, but I don't see them helping me. <laughs> this guy, Lex Friedman, he's very smart. He has, he has a podcast basically like Andrew Huberman. He does kind of the same thing as Andrew Huberman, but he has a background working at like a university, he does stuff with coding, programming for university, and he has a pretty good well-rounded podcast. He asks pretty good questions. I think he's the same level as Joe Rogan for self-improvement. Okay, next guy is Eman. Okay, Eman Gadzishi. Iman Gazishi. So he is a self-made millionaire. He's like a super successful guy in his 20s and he's made, he's a millionaire. And he is just, he gives you advice on how to become a better person, start living a better life. A lot of his advice actually is helpful. Like I saw a video recently on him talking about just how your attention is being dragged by everything, your phone, it's all competing for your attention, all this stuff. But the thing amount he's helped my life, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave him my B tier for now. I might change it as the video goes on. Clark Kegley, this guy, what I've seen from his videos, he talks a lot about like journaling and a lot of his videos have been about manifesting stuff into your head, doing meditation and stuff. Yeah, he talks a lot about meditation and journaling. I feel like those are his main topics he will cover in his videos. Clark Kegley is a C tier. And that's just right before Andrew Tate. <laughs> yes, everyone around the internet, there's a lot of controversy between it behind Andrew Tate. Because he has no filter, he just says whatever he wants. And that's why people like him. He's genuine with what he says. Just doing all that stuff, he's very genuine. He doesn't filter anything out. And that's why people think people like him. He gives strong advice for life. He has, he has life advice for basically everything. But in YouTube, he has life advice that is actually super genuine and actually helps. He has actionable steps on how to like fix your life. I, he's just helped me a lot lately. 
Next one on the list is Jocko Willing. I do not know much about Jocko Willing. All I know is that he's like a disciplined guy. He's kind of he's kind of the same as David Goggins. He talks a lot about discipline. I think he has his own podcast, but I've not seen a lot about him. So this is kind of unfair for me to judge him. I think he's see okay. Tim Ferriss. He made the book The Four Hour Work Week. He has his own podcast. Tim Ferriss also I don't know a lot about him. And then the final guy, Mark Manson. He has some actually good advice. I think so I think a B tier is pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's final. That's my final opinion on these self-improvement influencers. Tell me if I missed any though in the comments, because I don't know as many as you guys do. I'm not my viewers.